I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to my sponsor, P2 Collectibles, located at 204 East McGalliard Road in Muncie and on eBay as well. So next time you're here in Muncie, let us know. Come give us a visit. Hey, what is up, y'all? This is Alex from Plus 3 TCG coming at y'all with a little bit of a casual combo corner. So the going second version of Fur Hires kind of requires you to open up at, at least three Fur Hires. Really all the combos, even going first, require you to open up a ton of fur hires for playing so many. Um, and on most occasions, it requires you to open up a beat, or at least a way to get into a beat. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do some test hands with you to show you that this deck can do some stuff. And this, folks, is a pretty, pretty good hand. So we have Recon, which is able to pop a set card. Ideally, you would wait until Fulgo is summoned so that you can trigger this. You can like chain link one Fulgo, chain link two this, and then you'll be able to um, also trigger Fulgo's effect to draw a bunch of cards. And especially with this hand, uh, you should be able to do that. So you're going second, obviously. So no hand traps. You gotta just wait. You have an interruption immediately off the bat. I just hope this sixth card does something. Wow, that's even better. This is insane. Um, so first things first, we're gonna do is just instant fusion right off the bat. Take that 1k and then um, Thousand Eyes of Strict and try to take one of their monsters. In all these situations, we're going to assume that these are going through. We're stealing a monster. Even if not, your hand is good enough to just play through it. So let's go with the hypothetical situation and say this gets negated. Uh, effect to grab and it gets negated and destroyed. We'll say even then, uh, you have five cards still in hand to work with. Um, so, if that was a monster negate or something, let's say we have to try to push through um, the back row. We're really hoping though we we could save it. So in an ideal situation, we'll just normal summon this effect, uh, summon recon, uh, beat effect. In this situation, because you have Raphael. Um, you should probably be trying to search seal because you're going to want to use his effect later. Uh, strangely enough, you're not going to use it when the first for hire is summoned because you're going to recon effect, summon seal. Uh, it, you can go ahead and just assume you're going to need to push through the back row and then use recon to pop the back row and hopefully it goes through. Uh, seal effect to summon a Rafael. Now you're not using any of these effects yet. You're not using the seal effect to grab anything because you don't have anything. You're not even gonna use the Rafael effect yet. You're just immediately going to link summon into Fulgo so that you can chain link one to special, chain link two seal, target the Rafael that you did not get to use yet. So from here, you're going to um, use the Fulgo effect still as it resolves. You're gonna add the you fail back, and then you are going to summon Philo. Right over here. Um, then you are going to use uh, Philo's effect to summon a Raphael. Raphael, I'm still not sure how you properly pronounce that name. Uh, from here, you chain link one to mill some cards. Uh, let's shuffle, since we did have to search. Uh, fail chain link one, philo chain link two, target, it doesn't really matter, we'll just target recon in this situation. Um, and then as a result backwards, because you have four on the field, you can now mill, wow, that's pretty good. Milling, my con milling the monster reborn is really nice. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna just grab the monster reborn. So here you have a Boral Sword, um, but we're not going to do that just yet. We, in this situation, because you have Monster Reborn and Mayhem for Hire, uh, which happens more often than not because you're drawing a lot of cards, you're milling a lot of cards. Um, in this situation, if you wanted to save it, you could have just drew three cards with an uh, Philo Special Summon, the Recon, Recons. It's just so insane how, well, the amount of advantage that you can generate with this deck. But here, we're going to summon Saryuja. Saryuja effect to draw four cards and to potentially fix our hand. 
We don't really need fixing, we just need something better than Philo. Oh wow. Three, three, four. Okay, so we have the one that pops face up cards, so we'll probably get rid of Philo, get rid of Wiz, and we'll get rid of Bravo. Put those back. Uh, Saryuja, Special Summon, Dompa. So this is where things get much, much, much better because now you are going to get to trigger for this card if all of this is uh, ideally going through. So Saryuja is going to summon the Dompa. You don't have a Fur Hire in, in hand, but you do have two cards that get you to Fur Hires. So Monster Reborn targeting your Rafael. Um, effect of Dompa to target a face-up card to pop because really you've only got rid of one card and that was with Recon, the set card. So Dompa can now effectively target one of their face-up monsters. Um, and then draw three cards. So you're gonna target, do the pop, draw three. One, two, three, that's insane. Uh, if they have any more monsters up on the field, you can effectively just grab one um, you can Pot of Desires, you're gonna Mayhem for Hire for sure, because you are able to grab another monster. You can then Pot of Desires. All of this is, yes, one turn, all back measure two wow that's unfortunate that we drove all three mayhem for hires um, but then mind control in an ideal world they're gonna have multiple monsters on board even with salaman great they're gonna have multiple monsters you only popped one mind control grab another uh, you definitely have a next turn but it doesn't matter because this should in theory be game because you have their monster right here we'll just say that this little cardboard piece is their monster one, two, three, four. Into Boral Sword. And then, in theory, that should be game. You have your Monster Negate still. You're going to be able to Mayhem for Hire. Uh, if you don't win this turn, uh, you're going to put a lot of pressure on them. Because 24, um, 28, 3k, 3k. If there's nothing left on board, that's definitely game, y'all. I'm going to be as transparent with y'all as possible, so I'm power shuffling on this next combo because that hand is pretty broken. Broken hands don't happen all the time, but fortunately for y'all, y'all got to see a pretty broken hand uh, for what fur hires can do. I'm hoping, hoping this one is a little less broken to show you that the deck still can play with, um, I don't want to say subpar hands, but I want to say just... Average hands, a even average hands can still push you uh, through to get you into game. So let's see what this second combo can get us. Uh, here we go, this hand is not as good. So we're really relying on this second draw here. Uh, okay, not very good at all actually. Um, it's good enough to get us into a... Uh, this this might be good enough because we open Monster Reborn, uh, Mind Control, and two Fur Hires. So because of these four cards, it might be playable enough. So let's Mind Control. Theoretically, let's bait it out. Let's say this gets negated. Let's say we're playing Salamon Great and they can't afford me to take their Link, so they're going to negate it. I'm going to take it anyways. Take their Link Monster. Um, so we'll just put this... Put that link monster right here. Oof, let us maybe summon. Man, this is just not the. So let's actually just pot of desires and let's hope we get something. So, I'm not gonna look at these cards yet because I want to show you that we can still kind of get to a combo. We can summon this card, so, and then we can summon this. Use this effect to summon, and you have three monsters to go into Fulgo. Fulgo can then go into Beat. Beat can then go 
um, you can the Monster Reborn, the Philo, um, uh, Philo, or Beat will trigger to add Rafael, and then Philo, or use Beat's effect to summon the Rafael, Philo will trigger. You can still go into it. I'm just hoping to get into a better combo. Um, whereas it, it's, it's a, you have more cards in hand. Um, and that is not what we needed. We did not need another Pot of Desires or Ash Blossom. So in theory, we're, we're gonna have to do exactly what I said. We're gonna normal summon uh, the seal, and then we are going to summon Philo, take the link, summon Fulgo effect. Hopefully we did not banish all of our beats and Rafales. Uh, we did banish all of our Dampas though, and that's the one that um, targets face-up cards, so that's slightly unfortunate. Uh, but we are going to use Fulgo to summon beat. Um, and then we're gonna use that Monster Reborn to target Philo. Uh, beat's effect's going to trigger, getting us Rafale. Um, Philo, well, beat, effect, summon, Rafael, uh, effect of Philo, target seal, uh, effect of fail, so chain link one, chain link two, Philo, target, seal, and then we'll have one, two, three, four cards to mill and hope that we get a, maybe a mayhem, that'd be nice. Oh, baby, right off the top. So we'll most definitely be grabbing the mayhem because this will allow us to go into uh, Saryuja. So we'll grab, the Sar grab this, go into Saryuja. Here, we're kind of hoping we draw something good because we could technically start clearing the board and then establish control. You can just go into like Phoenix here, pitch a card, um, and then take the extra monster and then uh, go into Unicorn and then clear the board potentially. Um, so that's an option. Uh, we're just showing you what can happen uh, when you open up good enough. Which, this was good enough to make boards like this. So I use your effect draw. One, two, three, four. So we can put back this desires. We can put back, um, we can put back B. And we can probably put, yeah, we can put back the ash. Cause we already have that. Put those on bottom. We can tanky. Uh, did we get rid of the final seal? Hopefully not. We did not, we did not get rid of the final seal. So tanky will get us seal. I think that's gonna be all right. Uh, Cause we already used this effect to summon. So we're going to use Saryuja's effect to summon it. Um, Mayhem for higher. Is there any of these we did not use? I don't think so. Cause B. Oh, man, I just honestly, okay. So we're gonna Mayhem for higher. We're trying to just get a monster back into our hand. Hmm, maybe we should make him for higher. Maybe we should one for one. Use this. So we're trying to just go into a Boral Sword now. Oh, we can't even use one for one because we got rid of our final one. So this hand might be coming out to like a potential, like the start usual was just over, overkill. So what we could have done instead was like I said, just keep the monster up, just keep the Rafael up clear the board, attack with Fulgo, attack with the Unicorn, and then attack with your Rafael, and you at least had an interruption next turn. Um, so that's pretty much what the deck can do. Like I said, that this just would have been, instead, all of this would have stayed here, these would have been there, I wouldn't have the, um, I wouldn't have the additional like one for one or anything, because I probably should not have kept that, uh, should just kept it, 
she just kept the Bravo, and then I probably would have been able to go with a better hand, because I would have been able to summon that, um, or summon the seal, summon the Bravo with Saryuja, because I would have made him for higher the seal. There would have been, there was options, I guess, to go into other cards, it's just Saryuja wasn't super optimal. It still ends in a board where you can take these, go into Phoenix, take these, go into Unicorn, uh, clear the back row, and potentially go for game if they did not have enough cards on the field because you'd have enough advantage to put a, lot of pre put a lot of pressure on them. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below, y'all. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these open hand combos or if you wanted to see more of the set two, three, and four card combos. Let me know down in the comment section below, y'all. And this is Austin Plus 3 TCG signing out.